question is from Taylor Samudio. How do you guys feel about the daily practice of things like 50 to 100 push-ups? I like it. Actually, I, um, I picked this question mainly because of what we were talking about earlier about not getting enough activity. And I honestly feel like for me, I've already started things like this in terms of squats or push-ups or lunges or like little things that are like moderately intense, but really it's like a frequency builder. It's the same sort of a concept as like our trigger sessions, things like that, where um, like I want to get good at, you know, push-ups again. I want to get good at pull-ups again. So I just make opportunities throughout the day to just, you know, be conscious of that and try and gain those movements and still like incorporate that on a daily basis. You know, it's funny as a, as a young trainer, I'd probably scoff at this. Totally. totally yeah. And today I would be the complete, complete op- I, difference. I love this. Uh, it reminds me of the conversation that we had with Ben Greenfield probably about a year ago. The one before last, I think that we interviewed him. And we all went around and we're kind of like sharing things like this. Mm-hmm. And he's he's notorious for this also. And I think that's just a part of getting older and and, and, and wiser and, and realizing that not everybody's 22 and loves going to the gym seven days a week. And so if I can create uh, good habits like and practices like this that you will – like if I can teach you to – do 100 push-ups right after you brush your teeth and it becomes a thing you do every fucking day for the rest of your life, oh my God, the the benefits of that. Mm-hmm. Sure, you're not going to get the max bench press from that. You're not going to have pecs like a bodybuilder just from doing that. But that habit is so good for you just from a calorie burning perspective, keeping your muscle mass in that area. Such a Keep good- sending the signal. Such a good, good habit. And, that, and so that's the stuff that I think we speak to more today is- you know, trying to help help people create practices and behaviors that are things that they do for the rest of their life. And if you're more likely to create a practice like this and never miss it, even more so than the guy who's going to go to the gym five to six days a week, every single week for the rest of their life, then I, I see a ton of value in stuff like this. You, you would be surprised at how effective stuff like this is. Um, the the of daily practices of treating exercise like a practice or like a skill. You would be shocked at how effective this is. This is one of the best ways, for example, whenever somebody asks me, how do I get better at pull-ups? Because pull-ups are really hard. Yeah. I tell them, get a pull-up bar, put it in your house, and every time you walk by it, do one pull-up. You know, Do 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 an easy pull-up, but do a pull-up and practice it and watch what happens. The strength gains you get from practicing these movements on a daily basis are astounding. This is how a lot of guys used to work out back in the day. Um, mm-hmm. The famous judoka uh, Kimura, uh, who the Kimura uh, uh, shoulder lock was named after. The Gracies named a shoulder lock after this guy after he broke uh, Helio Gracie's arm uh, with this particular uh, sh- shoulder lock. He used to do something like a 1,000 push-ups and a 1,000 squats every single day. He was a 220-pound. This was way before you know protein powders even, um, and the dude was a beast. Herschel Walker was known for yeah, doing right, uh, a thousand push-ups and a thousand sit-ups every single day. Have you guys seen what he looks like today? Yeah, oh uh, yeah, amazing. In 50s, he's like 50, late fifties. Oh, that he's fin- in, in incredible shape. Of course, the guy's a genetic phenom, also. Yeah. But he had this daily practice. If you look at uh, blue-collar workers who've been doing their jobs for for decades. Look at the body parts that correspond to the to the the activity that they're doing. Look at the hands and the forearms of a mechanic or uh, somebody swinging a hammer all day long. They may be out of shape everywhere else in their body, but you look at their forearms, and they have forearms that will you know rival a, an amateur bodybuilder. These daily practices have tremendous value. Now the key is to not go crazy with them. What I mean mm-hmm. by that is if if 50 push-ups all at once for you is your max, that's not what you do every day. If your max is 50 push-ups at one, at, at one sitting, here's what I suggest you do. Do 10 push-ups ten. five times a day. Mm-hmm. Five times a day, do 10 push-ups. In the morning, wait a couple hours, do 10 more. Wait a couple more hours, do 10 more. So do 50 a day, spread out the whole day. Do that every single day. Watch what happens to the amount of push-ups you could do. Watch what happens to your tricep, shoulder, and pec development. It'll blow your mind. Um, so this has tremendous. There he is, right there. Look at Herschel Walker. How old is he? He's fifty three. In, th- in that picture, he's fifty three. Yeah, a few years ago. That's Whatever. yeah. So he's in his mid fifties now. I mean, the guy looks. Uh, it was a he phenomenal. He fought in the UFC for a minute too. In, in his fifties, yeah, and he won. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so these are phenomenal practices. I think this is even more valuable for the average person. I do. Than going to the gym. I do too. If because I, it's, because if, it's a behavior that you're you're yes. more likely. I mean, it's we, a lifestyle at that. Point. There, I mean, there's there's already studies to support that we and we've talked about this before that you know attaching a behavior to another 
uh, already a habit, like brushing your teeth, like eating a meal, like something you already do. If you can attach a new behavior, and it doesn't need to be an hour long. It could literally be two minutes of getting down and doing 50 to 100 push-ups. If you can make that like brushing your teeth for rest of life, the carryover benefits of that for long longevity is unbelievable. Oh, this is this was again the inspiration for trigger sessions, and you know I'm doing them again more recently. Um, I haven't been able to do them three times a day like I like to, but I've been doing two a day, and it always blows me away. It blows mm -hmm. me away. Part of the reason is I'm active. I'm more active, so I'm doing you know an eight minute workout twice a day. It's 16 more minutes of activity than before. It's also the muscle building signal I'm getting. I'm getting stronger at my trigger sessions, which is making me stronger in my traditional workouts. The energy boost you get is that, insane. That's another huge plus. Oh, I, that, and that's another carryover that you don't think about. Pay attention, like if you're a type of person who's kind of sluggish in the morning, and and I've done this before. Like I've done this where oh I'm, every day I'm going to do 50 or 100 push-ups and see what happens. Like one of the biggest things that I notice more than getting stronger and better at my push-ups is. If I get down and I do that, when I get done, the spike in energy oh, yeah. and mood that I get afterwards, which I know has to carry over into all the things that I'm doing. Like totally. now, instead of like going over and just sitting on the couch and being lazy about something, like I'm I'm more likely to get up and go clean something in the house or be more active. Yep. That's the stuff that we just can't we can't really measure that or calculate that out. That does happen. No, it's it, think about it this way. Let's say your goal is to exercise for 30 minutes every single day. It's also easier on your schedule to split that workout up. If you instead of doing a 30 minute workout every morning, do 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, 10 minutes in the evening. Much easier to accomplish. It's a small chunk. It's like a little break. Like you're going to go do your 10 minute act activities, do it every single day. Watch what happens. It's actually it's one of the what I would consider like a secret way to work out and get phenomenal results without having to go to the gym. Is exactly what we're talking about.